Welcome to the ERA Europe Business Talk of the Month, featuring leading personalities of the international multi-channel home shopping industry from all over the world. Our guest today, Michael van Straten. My name is Michael van Straten. Uh, the company is very mark. We are from South Africa. My position is uh, Managing Director, CEO uh, of, of uh, the business. We actually started the business uh, 40 years ago. We pioneered direct response on the African continent about uh, 26 years ago. It was a very, very interesting phase because those days there was no uh, long-form commercials allowed on television stations and it was extremely over-regulated and to persuade and convince uh, the TV stations at the time to give us an opportunity 25 years ago we only had five telephone lines we flighted the first DRTV commercial on a Saturday morning and uh, I think we paid uh, 2,000 Rand and we generated that day 200,000 Rand sales. So is it different to the UK or different to America? I think each country start with their own challenges. There was no infrastructure. And I think Verimark is really one of the few companies that had to learn the business from really nowhere. Some products, you could do the same explanation, the same pitch in most countries. Certain products is also different, like in Africa, for example, security, safety has become a very, very important facet. And it might be that if you're sitting in London, that the guys don't care about security and those things to the levels that, that we in Africa have to. And that is why I'm saying certain products is market related. You know, they might be a home run in a certain territory, but in another territory not. And there is no easy answer. As very much today function right across all the product categories from kitchenware to floor cleaning to exercise and fitness. We do educational toys. For example, we have a very interesting laptop in South Africa. It's a kiddies laptop for the children to educate them. And the original one 12 years ago were English only. And we translated it into the second language in, in South Africa's Afrikaans. And that is why that product is now 12, 13 years on the go. And it's still top selling kiddies laptop in South Africa. And that product you could take for example to markets like uh, Brazil to Argentina to Russia where people want to at least learn two languages but if I put this multilingual uh, laptop in London or in USA it would probably not be as popular because there will only be one language on there. If I think back after pioneering direct response in, in Southern Africa 26 years ago, two years later, we went back to the USA where DRTV originated from, and we had very good relations with some of the founders and the pioneers in, in, at that point in time. And we asked them, listen, it is such a great business to be in. Look at the number of calls that we got, uh, you know, in the sales we generate, but what is the next step? The guys that we chatted to explained to us, listen, uh, we think if you can have this product available at a store, you could sell three times more, even ten times more. And we said, that's interesting. Have you tried it? Uh, no, we haven't tried it yet, but we think so. <laughs> and we said, okay, don't worry. We went back 23 years ago, and we were really the pioneers in the world of taking TV product into retail those days. And what we have also created, uh, which is different to the norm, it created the as seen on TV category in South Africa, and the retailers benefit substantially out of it. In fact, very excitingly, it looks like there is really, you know, people starting to see those, uh, those opportunities. For the last 10 years, we every year do come to, to the ERA conference in, in Europe. But, you know, the last 10 years we did not exhibit. And we made the call now to really come back with all the innovations that we have available in South Africa that we did develop. We didn't stop developing product from 10 years ago to now. And that is why ERA Europe is a very important stepping stone for us in that process of uh, reactivating our international business. There's not enough innovation. And I think that is something that I must point out to you that because South Africa is clearly not a massive market if you compare it to France or to America, to the UK, in those markets, if you have one home run, you can retire multi-billionaire, you understand. In South Africa, we need home runs every 
two months, you know, and that uh, really shows you the pressure that's on us to find the new product because the market is just so much smaller and it's, it's so much tougher. But that has also forced us to have a lot of product available and the benefit of that is to offer it to the international market then. Next, on the ERA Europe Business Talk of the Month, Philip Boldstretch. I think one of our unique approaches is to have uh, great products with great shows. I myself, I was demonstrating products, so I guess I have some experience in terms of pitching products to consumers. Thanks for watching, and see you at the ERA Europe Conference 2017 in Venice.